my name is Anthony Vasquez. I'm a freelance photojournalist and documentary photographer based out of Mexico City. My interest in photography started back when I was in the military. I had joined the Marine Corps at the age of 20 and I had only done the contract for four years, but like midway through my contract, and it was my first deployment to Afghanistan. And I remember halfway through, I had, um, I had this kind of event where we were waiting for a helicopter. We had a local Afghani who had uh, hit an IED and he was severely injured and they decided to bring him in so they could medevac him and take him out to, to one of our, um, uh, the hospitals in, in Afghanistan so they can get him treatment. And so we were waiting on the LZ, which is the landing zone, waiting on the landing zone for him to arrive. And I just remember uh, the Afghan soldiers bringing him in with his leg, his leg, uh, his right leg, you know, blown off to the knee, and his brother was just running beside him, crying, just crying like very loudly, and doing whatever he could to keep up with his brother who was in a stretcher. And I just remember him; he was wearing flip flops, and he was just doing all all he could to keep up with him because they were running on River Rock. And he couldn't, you know, keep his footing with those flip flops. So he was just pretty much grasping at his brother on the stretcher as they were just running with him off into the medevac tent. And I think at that moment, like I said, I'd seen so many other things, but for some reason that event stuck into my head as to, you know, these are these were individuals who were living their lives peacefully in, in Afghanistan, in rural Afghanistan. And then, you know, because of uh, certain groups you know, attacking one another, this individual had to suffer. From that moment on, I knew, you know, if I'm seeing this, I think other people should see this as well. And I, that's when I knew that I wanted to do journalism. Having the ability to go out, cover an event, or talk to individuals and be able to properly tell their story, do their story justice, or do the news coverage justice, be able to inform, you know, individuals within the city, across the country, across the world, about the current events that, you know, as photojournalists we cover and we, and the stories that we tell of those that can't tell their own story. And that to me is what photojournalism is. It's, you know, being given the privilege of telling somebody's story when they, they look for somebody to help them out in, you know, in, their, in their time of need and, and you're the one to help them, you know, tell their story of, you know, being, being deported or, you know, being left without a house after an earthquake or you know, being you know, placed into a different country where they don't know the language or and they don't know what their future is going to be after that. And that's, that's to me is what photojournalism is, you know, is taking the time to tell the, uh, these individuals' story so that others can learn from them.